Um, so a lot of um, the things that I'm going to say are going to be matter of fact. Um, so, you know, right now, it is the winter holidays. It's Christmas time. And it's almost approaching New Year's. And, um, you know, this is the time for giving. Um, and it's also the time for receiving. So, you know, this is the time, you know, even if it doesn't have to do with, you know, even if it's not exactly Christmas Day. It's still around that point. And I just wanted to pop on to um, make this um, live stream really hoping to uh, encourage you to be grateful um, for everything that you have, no matter what, always, always be grateful. Now, you know, one of the things that I believe in, and one of the things I actually believe in um, quite a bit is if you're going to say something that you feel strongly about, that if you feel passionate about, and it's so well-crafted, um, you know, then it's just not worth saying it into a little void, into a vent, into a cave, um, you know, where no one's going to hear that. So, you know, I, I just want to strongly encourage and just tell anyone who, um, and this is a phrase that I um, have heard about, to anyone who um, beats a dead horse, stop. Stop doing something. That is just not worth doing. Wasting energy, wasting breath, wasting time. Um, and, uh, you know, just, that's huge. I mean, you can see my astrology channel. I talk about Capricorn and how it's all about time. Um, and, um, all of that, but, um, you know, that's called beating a dead horse. Um, and so with doing this, you know, if you think about it, it's almost like a waste of your time because if the horse is already dead, there is no point in continuing to beat it. If an issue is not going to turn around, if you can't do anything about that issue, then it's best to just stop. Stop and just reflect, just internally. You know, step back and kind of just intuitively and I mean, you don't have to say this in your mind. This is just an intuitive sort of thing. Asking, why am I doing this? Is it really worth me doing this? Or should I do something or say something that's more worth doing? 
you know, um, stop um, fighting for something that's not worth it. You know, and I'm sure that a lot of um, people have heard the phrase, be grateful, be grateful, be grateful, be grateful, just be grateful, just be thankful. And I want to be honest, I want to be honest. Because if that's difficult to do, then it takes um, some realization and it takes some, you know, takes some time to look at the situation. Look at the situation, you know, look at what you do have. Um, and, you know, instead of putting effort into it, you know, instead of putting effort, and I just want to say that that's very left brain, that's very logical. But instead, I think that a better way would be to truly say from your heart how you feel. You know, to just to take a moment Shut your eyes and calm down and then open them and realizing that you do have a lot, you do have enough, that you are enough. And to really not give a darn about what other people do have. Because other people have lived different life experiences that you don't need to worry about. That you don't need to compare yourself to. Because those experiences aren't your experiences. Therefore, they don't matter. Because you're not living those experiences. You know, there are people who have so much. There are people who have what live in mansions and do all that. But they live different experiences. They live different experiences. And, you know, it does take a lot of work to attain those things. You know, and I will say, you know, instead of um, getting on somebody for not doing enough, not putting in enough work, not judging them, not criticizing them, but, you know, just accepting what they did um, acknowledging what they did and being gracious to them. And I mean this for any situation. You know, don't get on somebody for not doing enough. 
not going to the trouble to buy, I don't know, the Pro Max phone instead of maybe the miniature phone. And I want to say this matter-of-factly as well. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. And I think that uh, there's going to be more peace, more tranquility, and you're going to feel happier if you just step back and realizing and, and, and you know, giving yourself the satisfaction that I have enough and I have a lot and I feel good about that. And there's many affirmations that you can do as well with this. Affirmations are things in which you can, you know, use and you can say and you can repeat and affirm. The whole point is to affirm affirmations. Affirming affirmations. That I have enough. You know, I am grateful because you can't just be grateful. How to be grateful? How can I be grateful? What, you know, what can I apply? What, what, what can I actually do? You know, and I want to use the word empowerment. And I just want to make it crystal clear that there is a difference between empowering somebody and telling them what to do and what not to do. There is a difference between inspiration and then um, suggestions and as opposed to forcing somebody and um, harassing them. And I think that we can all find that. And we've all had that sometime in our lives. And we felt that on the receiving end. And it feels like, oh, well, that doesn't feel right for me. That doesn't feel right for me. That doesn't feel right for me. Therefore, it's just not right for me. Um, you know. And, you know, I say this against myself in the current time to, you know, just not um, letting, you know, others get to you for all the hard work and the money that you spent into giving them this gift. And, you know, I just want to own what I just said because, you know, that did take some humility to say that. Um, so anyway, you know, it's also knowing that, um, you know, nobody's perfect. And, I don't want to debunk astrology. I don't want to debunk astrology. It should not be debunked. But I'm going to say this. You can have thousands of planets in fire. You can have a lot of water or air and be, I don't know, 54 years old. Or you can have a lot of earth in your chart. You can have a lot of water. A lot of Scorpio, a lot of Pisces, a lot of Earth, a lot of planets and houses that are very earthly. And jump over to my astrology channel. You'll find information about that. Or you can go look it up, see videos on it, if um, you don't know what I'm talking about. But the one thing that I'm going to say that is matter of fact 
when it comes to astrology is that it that does not matter when it comes to how many experiences that you've had in your life how many years that you've experienced all the things that you've done all the lessons that you've learned as you have lived through life everybody nobody's perfect there is no perfect even somebody with so many um, planets in Capricorn and somebody with so many planets in Taurus, you know, you know, I mean, perfect, the word perfect, you know, actually means perfectly imperfect, perfectly imperfect. That is to say everyone, everyone is a unique and special being that has their traits and their um, quirks about them and their, um, and there's beauty in that. You know, there is negatives and positives to anything. And maybe, you know, a lot of things and everything. And with this, comes just um you know these perfect imperfections we all have and you know nobody is really equal our lives are not necessarily equal. You know, and going back to what I wanted to say about gifts and about Christmas time, because that is the time period after all of what's going on right now, is it is around that time. You know, there are families that are still celebrating um, their holiday season around this time is, you know, as I said, um, you know, the acknowledgement of that gift, of that gift that they're giving you, putting time, putting effort and money and all those things. And I mean, it doesn't have to be against you and against what you feel or what you believe, but it's more getting into that place of gratitude, of, you know, again, feeling like you have enough that you, you know, are satisfied. You know, obviously we want to do something that, you know, really makes us feel a certain way that we honestly feel that feeling instead of somebody telling us and we try to do that oh, oh but we don't feel that feeling no it's just something that is logical to do but we just you know just don't feel good about this don't feel like we enjoy it or don't feel like we like doing this 